Have you seen this paint out there? I've been seeing it on the shelves quite a bit and today I want to give it a test. I want to see what is it really like and is it worth your money? Hi guys, my name is Jess. I'm from the Gold Coast Art School and today, yes, I'm doing a paint test video and today we're looking at A2 paint, this one. This is probably the most common form that I see it in these kinds of tubes. So this is a 120 mil tube but I also saw this dinky cute little set of paints. There's a 12 tube tube set and I thought this would be an excellent chance to actually test these out but I know this stuff also comes in one litre bottles. It's a heavy body introductory artists acrylic and it says that this is for serious art students. Are you a serious art student? Maybe this is for you. So similar to my previous testing video I'm going to be testing a few specific things. I'm going to be looking at the colour, I'm looking at the consistency of these paints. I also want to see how do they blend and how do the colours mix together to get your secondary colors. On the 40 mil it says opaque while some of these in here tell me that they are uh, semi-transparent. That's pretty cool. All right well let's test that transparency out. The only one that they don't have in this little pack that I wish that they did was like a warm yellow so that's why I've got a bigger tube of this one and I've put it on my plate. Very smooth out of the tube which is fantastic and they do say on the packets that these are like a buttery smooth acrylic so I would believe that. Something I want to try now is blending these colors together. What do they look like? I'm going to get a little bit of a wet paint, wet bit of wet water on my brush opposed to dry water. We're fine here today. I'm going to start with a bit of the yellow. Mmm, that applies really nicely. Feels good on the brush. Let's test it with a bit of, so a semi-transparent pigment is this one here. And this is the Cadmium Scarlet Hue. Pretty nice. Of course, acrylics dry in the blink of an eye. I'm gonna add just a smidge, little bit of water there and see how we blend. Look how nice and easy that is. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Very nice. Okay, that's easy. That's what you want with your acrylics. You want ease of use. I would say that that hits the mark on that one. Oh, this chicken. Is this a chicken? There's a chicken. It's not a rooster. A rooster? Maybe it's a rooster. Look, it's in the bird family. It's a type of chook. Why do I have a type of chook? in front of me. I figured this would be a really good test of just how transparent some of these paints actually are. If they are semi-transparent then you should easily see this chook through the paint, right? And if it says it's opaque then you probably shouldn't see the chook. Let's see if we can see the chook. <laughs> that is the test for today. Oh yeah. You could build this up. If I apply it quite thickly you can cover it up. But you'd probably have to do a couple of layers. If I work wet on wet, that's just going to drag this paint away like what I was just doing then. So you'd have to just let it dry. I'm going to go in with this cool yellow, which is the cadmium yellow light hue. This is meant to be a semi-transparent. That's going on quite heavy. Look at that. You can see it a little bit up here. Maybe as it dries, it will go a bit more transparent because what I'm looking at over here is a little bit transparent. So we'll see what happens with that one as it dries. How about compared to what is meant to be opaque, that um, the cadmium yellow medium hue. Goes on kind of similar. I can see a little bit through. Not as much though, not as much as the semi-transparent. But it does have some transparency. Doesn't completely shock me because it is a yellow and those lighter colours do tend to be like that. So I'm going to come back to this chook because I want to wait until it dries and then I want to see if I can layer on other colors on top and see if they are transparent and will crisscross over these colors and produce some nice secondaries. Speaking of which, let's just do a little bit of mixing of secondaries right here right now. So let's see. Nice blending and mixing together, really smooth. Oh, I'm bringing a bit of blue in there. That's my fault. Actually, it's probably a bit of black. Next up, let's do a little bit of a green. 
I like a spicy green. So let's go for some yellow, this nice cool bright yellow. Put a bit of that in over there. Let's do a teeny little, ooh, I think that's already too much. Blue takes over before you flip and know it. That's a nice little limey green in there. Okay, and then a little bit of this one in here. Hmm, that's a bit of a deeper green in there. That'd be nice for forests, grass, shrubbery. I think we're just doing really well, guys. These paints are great and you should probably buy them. Um, and that's it, that's the tutorial. <laughs> What is our other secondary? Purple. Purple is one of those colors that sucks. Check out our video about how to mix purples that don't suck. Forget about using red. Don't use red, use magenta if you want the really bright, spicy purple. Alizarine Crimson. I'm not even sure if this is gonna get me to where I wanna go, but we're gonna try. No, straight away it's a no. You need magenta. Looks lovely, but it's not it. If I introduce a bit of white into there, you'll see it a bit easier. See that? That's nothing to do with the paint though. That's just pigments. Last test. We're gonna just crisscross our way over this chicken a little bit. So I'm gonna crisscross over a couple of colors here. Let's go with this transparent yellow. But at the end of the day, would I recommend these paints? I think that if you're the kind of artist that is getting a little bit more serious about your acrylics, this would be a worthwhile purchase because they're not super hyper expensive yet. After this stage, I think you're starting to get into artists quality acrylics and those kinds of paints it really starts adding up. It's also pretty easy to get this paint, at least here in Australia. Uh, let me know if you're from America and if you've seen this out and about, is it easy for you to get? Maybe it's online, I don't know. But generally speaking, if you're looking for a good quality acrylic that's not gonna break the bank, I reckon you should probably go with this one. More than any other student acrylic that I've kind of tested and tried out, because some of them really suck, you guys. Some of them are really bad. Hope this has helped you out today. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you all next time. Have a fantastic rest of the week. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.